Rosehill battling back beyond the goal. Recall every time the Atlas have played the Penguins this year, so we get a pass from the red, deflected in by Jay Rosehill in front of the net. The Atlas stole it against the right side wall, zipped it in front, and Rosehill practically with his back to the net, deflected it behind Thiessen. Fought for along the dashers, picked up by Norfolk. Here's Maroon racing down on Mormina. Maroon left side ring, fires glove save, and held by T. So now will throw it away and play continues. Draw on the far side ring in the Atwell zone. Holland for the face off. Knocked over here to the near side circle. Penguins nudging it back near the point. Out of the penalty box is Wagner, and we're back at even strength. Still a 1 0 Norfolk lead. Here's Payroll in the slot, bouncing puck, bounced away from his stick. Plucked away by the Atlas and taken back beyond the goal line by Wagner. Feels the heat, sweeps it back far corner to Nick Schelz. Sends it along the wing to Holland. A rest of check here by the Penguins. Puck bounced out in front, shot in for a goal as Delorier dropped off to his left. The goal was knocked off the pegs, but too little too late and a bad bounce back behind the net has tied the game for the Penguins. Everybody was looking back behind the net to the far side corner. The puck popped out in front and on to the stick of Warren Peters, who was able to chip it in. And the period comes to an end. The Atlas will have 42 seconds remaining on a power play. And they get the third underway tonight. So a low scoring affair indeed. Atlas get an unlikely goal from Rose on the first. Penguins take advantage of a lucky bounce off the end wall. Setting up Warren Peters for a goal in the second. And we're deadlocked at 1-1 at the end of 40 minutes of playing with the shots. 20-17 in favor of Yorksbury Scranton. This guy, here's Smith Pelly, room to operate down the wing. Now he lays it in the middle of the ice, wide open, shot score! Josh Britton off the setup feed from Devontae. Smith Pelly has put Norfolk back in front here in the third period. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful setup. A little bit of patience shown by Smith Pelly in the corner. How Josh Britton was the fourth guy coming into the zone that wide open, I don't know. It looked like our defenseman might have been Shouse was pinching up in there. And of course, the, the winger is back checking, has to follow Shouse down. He's the, he's the first threat. And Josh Britton just trailing up on a play nicely and just buries that. He's, he's getting pretty accustomed to getting these chances and he's burying them when he gets them. Hawk held in right point by Shouse. Sent down low, Penguins trying to get it out. Atlas grab it, turning, firing and scoring! It's Pierre-Luc LeBron! The Admiral's fourth liners have done it again! And the Admiral's are now up by a pair here in the third. Wow, I, I'm thinking to myself, and that, that was a feed from uh, Jay Rose, so he made a good play to keep it in at the blue line. Little tip into LeBron. LeBron just turned one timer and put it by Thiessen. I mean. Well, Pete, that's twice in the same game. We got the same uh, scoring combination on that one. Well, it was Rosehill from LeBlanc in the first period. Here in the third, it'll be LeBlanc from Rosehill. Back beyond the goal line. LeBlanc with a hit. Frees up the puck. Wagner center. Shot. Square. It's <laughs> Rosehill. That line has connected again. All three members of that line have scored a goal, or at least they've contributed to score a goal. It's another third period Norfolk tally. You know, the, the equation for this game, is the game's been around for 150 years, Pete. It's always been the same principle, right? But there it is. I mean, LeBlanc, first one in, takes the body. Second man in, Wagner, picks up the, the loose puck, feeds the third man in, Jay Rosa coming to the net hard. Still whacking guys on the sidewall. Wagner grabs the puck. Wagner gets knocked down. Puck picked up. Rosso shot turned away. Meanwhile, we've got a little scrap here on the sidewall. And a couple of little wrestling matches going on. Now Farnham and Rosehill throwing punches up against the near side glass. A couple of big rights. Rosso takes off the helmet of Farnham, hitting him three, four times on the back of the head. Tries to go to an uppercut. Farnham can't break free. Down he goes in front of the bench. Meanwhile, LeBlanc and McIntyre, their altercation turned into nothing more than a little wrestling match without any real punches. 
although they're still grabbing onto one another as Farnham and Rosehill are sent to the penalty boxes. <laughs> All hands on deck for a 4 1 Admirals win as they take command in the third period and knock off perhaps the hottest team in the AHL.